Kia ora and welcome along to the Met Service Severe Weather Update for Tuesday the 18th of March. Taking a look at the satellite picture, you can see there's a fair amount of cloud already across the South Island and we have got some heavy rainfall feeding in towards that western coast of the South Island. And as we head through the rest of today for Tuesday, that continues to move northwards up towards the likes of Nelson, Buller and even up on towards the North Island as we head through the night time tonight and in towards the early hours of Wednesday morning. So we have got some severe weather watches and warnings in place. The heaviest rainfall likely to be on that western coast in towards the ranges of Westland, also up towards the ranges of Buller, and the Tasman district, and even across in towards some of those ranges of the Marlborough area as we go through the rest of today for Tuesday and through in towards Wednesday. Now, with a lot of this wet weather pushing in from the western side, areas like Westland are going to bear the brunt of this rainfall, as much as 110, 120 millimetres of rainfall up about the ranges through there. You can see that piles in those darker blues showing the heaviest rainfall. But you'll notice as we go through towards the end of this period, that rainfall up in towards the lights of uh, the, the far southern parts of the North Island as well. So something to watch out for as we head in towards Wednesday. But let's start off down on the South Island with that heavy rain warning for West. And as we go through the rest of the day, around about nine o'clock on Tuesday, we could find another 100 to 150 millimetres of rainfall up through the ranges there. There's also a watch in place for the rest of the ranges north of Otera and that Western area, but also a watch for those areas on the eastern side of the main divide, the headwaters of the lakes and rivers of Canterbury. As we go through towards the rest of the afternoon for day for Tuesday, we are going to find some of that heavy rain just spills across in towards the east as well. As we head up towards the northern parts of the South Island, some more severe weather watches and warnings in place. Warnings for the likes of the ranges of Buller, 80 to 120 millimetres of rainfall. The heaviest rainfall likes to be this evening as we go through and towards at the end of the day and likes to be south of Seddonville for the likes of those ranges of Buller. Also a warning in place for the western side of the Tasman district, west of Mochueca, as we go through the rest of the evening tonight. So for Tuesday, through and towards the early hours of Wednesday morning, and rainfall totals 80 to 120 millimetres there up about the ranges. Lesser amounts down towards the coast, but still some heavy rainfall through the night time tonight. And a similar story across out towards the likes of, say, uh, the Richmond and Bryant ranges, and even the Rye Valley, and parts of the Marlborough Sound. Another fairly wet looking night as we go through the night time tonight, Tuesday in towards Wednesday. Rainfall totals, again, 80 to 110 millimetres of rain. So a fairly wet looking night there. Now, as this front runs up on towards the, uh, the top of the South Island, it does also spill across towards the lower parts of the North Island. And there are some severe weather watches in place as well. For the likes of, say, Wellington, the southern parts of Wairapa, parts of the Carpety Coast, up in towards the Tarua Range, and also up towards Mount Taranaki there as we head through Wednesday. Now, this is really mainly a Wednesday uh, situation for many of those spots in the south. We may find some of that rainfall lingers in towards the early hours of Thursday morning for Mount Taranaki, but head along to the Metso's website for more information about those watches there. As we head through the next few days, this front weakens away as this low pressure stretches down towards the far south. But keep an eye on the forecast. There's another area of low pressure moving in from the subtropics, which may well bring out some more wet weather, particularly towards those western facing parts of the country, and some stronger winds as we head through Thursday and Friday. And that's it from me. There's more at metservice.com.